one of my internet friends that I used to talk to used this book, Calculus, by Michael Spivak, when he took calculus at a major Canadian university. He took an honors calculus class. And this was actually the book for the class. So he told me to buy the book. So I went and I bought the book. I bought it new, spent a bunch of money. Didn't really have a lot of money at the time. And I sat down and I tried to read it. I started with the very, very first chapter. Basic properties of numbers. And as soon as I got to the proofs, which there's a lot of like little baby proofs in chapter one, just really, really basic things that you're supposed to prove. I fell apart. I was defeated. So here I was, a student who took, you know, pre-algebra, intermediate algebra, college algebra, trigonometry, pre-calculus, statistics, calculus one, calculus two, and calculus three. I took nine math classes and I got stuck in chapter one of Calculus by Michael Spivak. Sometimes things just don't work out. I ended up taking two classes on proof writing, and then I reread the book, I tackled it again, I tried to tackle it again, and I was successful. So all that was missing was a little bit of proof writing. But the point is that sometimes the time is not right. Sometimes things just don't work out. You know, you're in a class and you just don't do well for whatever reason. And sometimes you don't know what that reason is. When, when I picked up this book, my friend who was brilliant at mathematics, he was a math major, he recommended it. I had so much respect for this guy. He was like a god on the internet. He was an internet math guru. And I believed every word he said. He was a person that I would go to for help with mathematics. He would help me and he was you know, a really good person. But I failed. And it's because I wasn't ready. So keep that in mind if you're, you know, if you're taking a class and you're struggling. Sometimes you don't know why things don't work out. But later on they will work out for whatever reason. Another good example is physics. You know, when I took physics, I didn't know any calculus. And I remember the teacher on the board writing down an integral symbol, the integral symbol, and he pulled out a K. And he says, this is a constant so we can pull it out. I'm thinking, pull it out? I have never heard that expression in a math class. Pull it out of the integral? Like, all of a sudden, it's in front of this weird S, and now it's behind it? Like, what, what's happening here? Why can you just move it like that? That concept was foreign to me. I just The idea of pulling a constant out just blew me away, because I didn't know what an integral was. I didn't even know what pull it out meant. It was just completely mind-blowing. And it's situations like that where you feel stupid, where you feel like you don't know anything, but it's not because you're dumb. It's not because you have some, something you're lacking. It's just because the timing is wrong. And sometimes things just don't work out. Sometimes it's better to try at a different time. A really good example, which might apply to you, is if you're taking a class and you're not doing well. You know, I always believe in, you know, never giving up. You know, when you fail, you, you get up and you try harder. That's a common theme, you know, because things are hard. Math takes a lot of work. If you just give up when you fail, you're not going to get through it. You have to evaluate and try to figure out what you did wrong and, th and then try to come back and do better. But sometimes you keep doing that. You keep doing everything that you're supposed to do. And, and you still can't get it. You know, maybe you're taking an algebra class and the teacher says, okay, go over your notes. So you go over all your notes, you go over all the homework and, and then you just, you just can't do it. You just can't get through it. Then maybe it means the time is not right. Sometimes things just don't work out and then another time is better for you. It happens a lot. It happens a lot with people. They'll take a class and they'll come and they'll take my class and say, oh, I took calculus 10 years ago and I failed and I took your class and I did so much better. 
and and they'll thank me and all this stuff. Oh, you're a great teacher, but a lot it's a lot of times it has nothing to do with me. It's them. It's where they are in life. You know, do they have the ability to study? You know, maybe you have distractions outside of school that are keeping you from studying. So keep that in mind, you know, if you're if you're struggling and you feel like things aren't working out and you don't know why, it's okay not to know why. Sometimes you just need to take a step back and try again another time. Now, I'm not, I'm not promoting quitting. I'm not saying you, you should quit. But I've had thousands of students over the years, and I've seen how hard some people work. I've seen people work so hard. It would ju it's just mind-blowing. It's just mind-blowing. And I've also seen people not work hard, and I've seen people slack off and be lazy, and that's okay. I have nothing against people who decide not to work hard and not do well. That's okay. It's a choice. I've, I've done that. I've skipped class. I've been lazy. You know, I've played video games instead of studying and paid the consequences or stayed up too late watching Netflix, you know, whatever, right? So we've all been there, right? We're human. We're not robots. But when you try really, really hard and, and, and you fail and you can't figure out why, I just wanted to make this video to let you know that it's okay. Sometimes you can't figure out why. Sometimes you don't have an answer at that particular point in time. Sometimes it's just better to try again later. But don't let it defeat you. You know, I think that's something that a lot of people have a hard time with. They'll fail. They'll 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 do everything they can. They'll, they'll go. They'll do the homework. They'll go over all their notes. They'll talk to the teacher. They'll go take the test, and they'll get nervous. They'll have test anxiety, and they, they just fall apart and fail. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen so many times, and it's so sad. And I think that sometimes for those people. The time is just not right. They have other stuff in their lives that is just taking away their focus. Maybe they have some personal stuff with their family. You know, there's other factors involved. Because if it was just about the mathematics, you know, everyone would almost be equal, right? If everyone had, you know, the same amount of time to study, which which is the theory, right? You you have a class. Everyone is supposed to have the same homework. Everyone has the same test. Everyone has the same amount of time for the test. So in, in all fairness, it's supposed to be fair for everyone. The teacher is supposed to grade everyone's test the same, but it's not fair because everyone's life is different. And that's just how it is, right? Because life is not fair and it sucks. It's not fair, but that's how it is. Right? Some people are born with lots of money. Some people are born poor, right? It's just not, it's not fair. It's terrible. It's not fair. So you just kind of have to take the cards that you're dealt and do the best you can and realize that sometimes things just don't work out and then just try again later and believe me if, if you're failing and you decide to try again later it might work out just like it did with this book here calculus by michael spivak you know i i, I remember my friend on the internet he was so cool and i just i was like i got the book i was so excited i remember i i, I barely had any money I, it was like it was like 50 something dollars at the time this was years ago I even bought the solutions manual and nothing. I had to come back to it after learning to write proofs and then the time was right. So if you're struggling, keep that in mind, right? Sometimes you're just missing some stuff and it's not the end of the world, right? You can get it later. But yeah, if you want to learn calculus, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. Check out my website, mathsorcerer.com. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting subscribe. If you want to, subscribe. And if you have any advice for people, leave a comment. Good luck. Go do some math.